All right, this is so important. From TV screens to smartphones and tablets, children are growing up inundated with screens. But how much is too much? Editor in chief of today's parents, Sasha Emmons, joining us with the newly released guidelines from the Canadian Pediatric Society. Good morning. This is so important. Good morning. Okay, so let's talk about the dangers, first of all, involved with too much screen time for little ones. So th what the Canadian Pediatric Society said is that kids who are under one who are exposed to more than two hours a day of TV can have language delays. They've also found links to things like poor self-regulation, uh, attention issues, and so it's really something that parents need to start watching Get and really screens. setting the tone and really setting the tone when they're little because another thing that too much screen time when they're little is associated with is a lifelong habit of too much screen time. Okay, so we're, we're talking also like smartphones, iPads, not just TV, right? Right, that's correct. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the guidelines. Canadian children under two years old shouldn't be getting any at all. Right. No screens for kids under two, which I, I'm sure a lot of parents are hearing that and thinking, ah! because that's not what they what they do. The problem that's really difficult is that, you know, the the screen the proliferation of screens in our lives has far outpaced any of the research into the effects of it. It's been many years since CPS has put out a position statement. In the meantime, screens have become ubiquitous mm -hmm. in in our lives, but uh, there's really no benefit to little kids, kids under two, watching screens. They actually can't really transfer the learnings from the 2D world into their 3D world. And it's just kind of like junk food for them. Okay. Uh, kids between two to five years old, the new recommendations are you should limit screen time to less than one hour per day. So that's two to five years old, less than an hour. That's correct. And they found in the research that they looked at, they looked at another Canadian survey, and kids three to five were actually getting around two hours a day. So t most kids are getting twice the recommended amount of TV. Well, I know with my niece and nephews, at that age, they start to act up. You know, they have limited vocabulary, they have tantrums, and it comes in handy in the car rides, at the restaurant, at the doctor's office to pacify. You say don't use it as a pacifier. It, it is really easy to reach for a screen when your kids are acting up. So what CPS said is to really look at the whole family's media use and come up with a media plan for the whole family. So that means the parents too. They need to watch their habits. You know, are they reaching for a screen when they get bored? Do they have TV on in the background a lot of the time? Uh, are you watching screens uh, right before bedtime? That doesn't help kids or adults sleep right. well at night. And so really look at the whole family's use. So that's the other thing. They said do not use any of the iPads or smartphones one hour before bedtime. The blue light from your phone stimulate, stimulates you to stay awake versus a white light from a TV. That's why you find you'll fall asleep while watching TV at night actually can put you to sleep. So there's a difference in the light it emits. That's um, true. And also, kids aren't getting enough sleep. So and that's and technology is directly related to that. Exactly. Because it does fire off that stimulating that says stay awake, stay yeah. alert. Now you read other studies that say it helps problem solving skills. It helps with hand eye coordination if they're involved in anything. And you don't want your kids to fall back when it comes to technology. What do you say to that? Well, all screen time is not created equal. Uh, certainly something like FaceTiming with grandma is is a great healthy habit. Whereas, you know, watching a show that doesn't really that has, you know, violence or uh, stereotypes that we don't want our kids to be seeing, those two things are not created equal. So, another thing that CPS recommended is that parents really try to monitor their kids TV choices so mm -hmm. look for pro social shows and what pro social shows means is that shows that model empathy uh, cooperation and respect and you also want to watch the advertising mm -hmm. that is surrounding the shows that your kids are watching it's tough for parents I won't lie this is tough this might is, we this suggest is a lot. Sesame Street or breakfast television <laughs> check check and check with all that data and another thing you said this is the best time to wean them off because they can actually go outside Figure yeah. out what to do. Use their imagination. Play games. Give them a jump rope. Right? Get out together. If you're hearing these recommendations, you're very overwhelmed by them. Here's another framework to think about them. Just make sure if you have a day where kids have had a little bit too much screen time, the next day make sure they're getting activities to offset that. Lots of face-to-face -face time with other kids or caregivers. That's really the gold standard how kids learn best, face-to-face -face time. Get outside. Get active. Those are the kinds of really healthy activities that screen times crowd out. Yeah. So just make sure your kids are getting those things. Great stuff. Thank you, Sasha. For Thanks. more information, todaysparent.com. Right now, over to Mel.